Hi, YouTube. I'm Hero. Oh, the scar comes down. Oh my God, is this Fergie gonna shoot? I am with the one and only Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos, what is your strategy? Hi, so, sorry if my English is so bad, but I try to explain. My strategy is um, pressure too much the rebel and disciple him and this. Okay, I'm glad it's not me that's going up against you. All right, good luck, guys. Let's figure out who the best Clash Royale player in the world is. Oh my god, it's intense right now. And the cool thing about this is it's not seated. So these are the sure. original regional winners from everywhere across the world. We start with 187 countries. That's Unbelievable. We're paired down to 16 today. Any matchups kind of catch your eye going Ooh. in? Well, I want to say, first of all, that's got to be kind of hard for both of those two to go first. I don't know yeah. if I'd want to be first. But OK, to answer your question. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be like shaking, I yeah, think, exactly. trying to place things accurately as much as possible. But for my pick, I think I'm going to go, Ash, with pick number, match number six. That is C. McHugh versus Electrify. My reasoning because, okay, so C. McHugh, I know C. McHugh, like the back of my hand, I have hosted, casted so many of his matches and tournaments. He's got quite the resume, probably one of the longest resumes of the players here today. He's from North America. He's from New Jersey. He's a very precise player. He's very patient as well. And I think you have to be patient in this game to play well. So I think he is the veteran. He's a patient player. And on the other side of that, we have Electrify. He's kind of uh, the rookie a little bit, only in the sense of the competitive scene, because he is certainly not a rookie to Clash Royale. And he's definitely, he describes himself as more of an aggressive player. So I think they're two kind of opposites. Same question back to you, though. First Who's off, before pick? my prediction, okay. before, my, before my match, yes. I really like that match. It's, it's it's right up there for me. Yeah. But I'm actually going to go with two players who I'm really, really excited to see, right? So okay. it's going to be Fuji representing Ooh. Japan. Okay. He won Japan's regional. Very dominant performance. And he's a free-to-play player. Hasn't spent a dime on Clash Royale. Over 6,000 trophies as a free-to-play player. Also, he's he's so off meta. I love it. I can't wait to see what kind of decks he brings out. He played Lumberjack, Golem, Clone in his finals <laughs> and won with it to get here. I can't oh wait gosh. to see Fuchi. I expect big things out of him in what is a, a really strong player base in Japan. For he sure. is facing another fan favorite. It is Baron. Ooh. Baron is such... This ain't a good game. Sub street reading chat full try hard. Alright, I'll stop reading chat if that's what you guys want. Hog only gets one hidden. Going for Gravid right here. I'm really happy I changed decks though. Look at that LJ! Holy shit, Lumberjack. Just. My Lumberjack just destroying his tower. I think he's a little bit surprised by that too. Freeze as much as I can. I don't want the hog getting hits in. Denying the hog of all damage. Okay, not all damage, but denying him of some damage. I don't know why he hoarded. I wasn't gonna spend all that much defending that tower anyways. Bad play from him. Yikes. I just need to go in for one more graveyard giant. If you'll let me. Shit. I missed one minion. Rip. It's fine though. Please no, please no, please no. No! Oh my god! I needed one freaking hit from that giant. One. To freeze this. 
I'm lucky throwing this match, by the way. I know y'all just love watching me throw matches. Come on. Come on, please, please, please. Shit. I think I lose. right now oh my god did I make TV I didn't make TV they put some random on TV <gasps> oh my god I won that I'm at my PB wait did I, did I get a new PB I think I did I beat it by three Oh my god. Alright, top 73 now. Yo, yo, yo. Bienvenidos al canal de Blue Nesty. Bienvenidos a vuestro canal. Y bueno, chicos, en el video de hoy, pues he traído. Eh, <ríe> he traído. Hoy, eh, en el video de hoy, pues vamos a ver unos mazos que se jugaron ayer en la final de la CRN. Que ya sabéis que jugó Venezuela contra Brasil. Y bueno. A ver vosotros qué equipo queríais que ganase, chicos, me lo podéis dejar en los comentarios y también a ver si adivináis el que yo quería. Así que bueno, chicos, dicho esto, vamos a ver los mazos y a ver si nos da un poquito de suerte. ¡Vamos allá! Muy bien, chicos, ya estamos por aquí. Aquí tenéis ya por fin que me he mantenido en Liga 1, 4.098 copitas. Bueno, por aquí tenéis los mazitos, ¿vale? Los diferentes mazos que eh, se han visto en la CRN en la final. Así que bueno, vosotros chicos, ¿qué mazo preferís? ¿Qué mazo preferís chicos? ¿Preferís el de golem? ¿Preferís el de minero? Ahora mismo vamos a jugar con el de minero que yo creo que es el que más eh, me gusta Así que nada, vamos a ver qué tal nos va Ya sabéis que bueno chicos, estamos jugando el desafío como podéis comprobar Porque... Eh, Todas las cartas no las tengo eh, subidas y de esta forma pues para que sean todas iguales. Y también, pues bueno, estamos jugando como lo, los jugadores en la final que juegan en desafío. Así que nada, y seguimos con nuestro minerito haciendo ese chip damage. Y vamos a defender este cementerio que nos ha activado la torre, o sea que genial, estupendísimo. Y ese hielo que ya pues prácticamente te lo podrías haber ahorrado, Zazou, la verdad. Pero bueno. La verdad es que le hemos hecho bastante dañito en la torre de la derecha. O sea que bastante, bastante bien, chicos. Esa Valkyria que se cuela muy bien. Y ese mago eléctrico también dañando la torre y dañando al lanzarrocas. Muy bien, chicos. Aquí ya tenemos nuestra primera torre. También os digo, chicos, que ya sabéis que me podéis apoyar con un pedazo de like. Que eh, últimamente me estáis apoyando muchísimo en, en estos vídeos. Y se agradece muchísimo. Así que nada. Ahí seguimos con nuestro minero, con nuestro mago eléctrico que sigue sobreviviendo. Ya tenemos una torrecita asegurada Y apenas nos ha hecho daño Así que bastante, bastante bien Ahora tenemos esa torre del rey También defendiendo el cementerio Que nos ayuda bastante Genial, seguimos con nuestro minerito Poco a poco, con nuestro mago eléctrico y estupendísimo Zazou lo sigue intentando con esos eh, con ese cementerio que ha intentado congelar la torre Tesla pero no ha podido así que bueno bien 
también esos esqueletillos que defienden estupendamente el lanzarroca, la bandida. Lo defienden muy bien y son muy baratos. Y así que nada, chicos. Con este mazo de minero ya hemos conseguido la primera victoria, esa coronita para nosotros. Aquí lo tenéis el macito. Vamos a cambiar ahora al de goles. Elite Nation, uh, the clan that, or the clan nation that I'm involved with, does a tournament. They're trying to do consistently a 2K tournament every Friday. So we're going to be jumping into the last 30 minutes of this tournament and seeing what decks everybody is throwing out to win this tourney. So jumping right in, we have, it looks like, Albert at number one. We're going to be hanging around the top ten people um, in this tournament seeing what they are bringing to the table. And it looks like we're jumping into this one with 30 seconds left uh, before it hits into overtime. And Albert, who is BMing, obviously not from Elite Nation. We don't like to BM in Elite Nation. Actually, no, I take that back. I've seen some of our boys do some pretty good BMing. But the tournament is open, by the way. And if you're wanting to jump into this tournament, Uh, right now, if you are going to be watching live, or if you're watching live, it is Elite Nation Friday. That is the name of the tourney. If you're wanting to be a part of these tournaments on Fridays, we're going to try to keep them around the same time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. And uh, it is going, if you want to be a part of them, go ahead and leave me a comment below, especially after the video, if you're watching this and it's not live for you. Uh, the replays will be left up, so if you are involved in the tournaments and you want to watch your attacks, you can go ahead and feel free to do so. Make sure you like and subscribe if you are part of these tourneys. So, yeah, alright, uh, we have a name that I will not try to pronounce because I don't speak, I'm assuming that's Chinese. Uh, and, uh, you know, yeah, I know there's no way I'd be able to even, I don't even know what vowels are in there. So, all right, hot shot from Land Sharks. Again, this tournament is open if you are watching live, you want to jump in really quick. It is Elite Nation Friday. Name of the tournament, it's open and not password protected at this moment in time. And we have Inferno Dragon coming in. Uh, backed up with some bats and he didn't really do get much damage off of that tower at all uh, really good defense by hot stuff and he it looks like we have in front of oh he is matching deck matching deck is there does he have a fireball he might be saving the fireball for the end it looks like his deck is uh, so it's a night hog deck Inferno, Nighthog, deck type thing. I haven't really seen one of these around. This must be a, um, but the fact that there are two of the same looks like it could be a start of a new meta type thing. Let's see what we got. I haven't tried this one. I might try it. Kind of like your more bullying decks anyways. And he should, oh, is he going to be able to get that tower down? Oh, we can put some music on because it sounds really quiet. Okay, I'm not sure if this is too loud or not. So if it is, somebody's going to have to let me know. Alright. Get some music going. Nice job, Hotshot, with your little BM-ness. You can tell I don't really like BM. I think it's rude. I think it's very rude. Very, very rude. All right, let's check. Ad. And th this was just, this was a crazy one. Um, I've learned how to play uh, Expo decks a little bit better, uh, or against Expo decks a little bit better. Um, before, I used to get a little too um, over anxious to drop a lot of cards to make sure that I was distracting that Expo so that it didn't latch onto the tower. But I actually found the more relaxed I got and the less troops I played on the board, the better I would do. Um, here, I played the Mortar. They defended it with a Tesla tower. So instead of going and throwing my goblins in, trying to take down the Tesla, I just left it, and, and that is what it is. So here, 
if I had a musketeer in this deck, which uh, uh, I will hopefully have soon, I've got a level nine. So once we get her leveled up, then we'll be able to get her into this deck here. Um, but the great thing is when they place that expo down or even before they place it down, if you can predict it, you place your musketeer right next to the wall of the uh, of on your side and uh, just basically try and snipe out that expo before it's able to do too much damage um, while using either your Valkyrie or the mortar to distract the expo. So here I went in uh, expecting what they did last time. They placed the Tesla to defend against the mortar. So I knew that was likely coming based on the rotation and based on how they previously defended it. So I predicted that this time and put the minions in front and that really paid off getting a couple shots on the tower. Here, this Musketeer, there wasn't really much to do with it, but taking advice from, again, Colton's video, um, you know, not playing a spell in that situation to just zap the Musketeer, play the gall or the uh, Goblins, and it's possible that, um, that your opponent might need to commit Elixir to defend whatever troop you drop down. So here we're basically even again. I'm about one elixir behind or one and a half elixir. So I decided to take it slow. I knew that expo was coming. So I played the Valkyrie down and uh, I knew that Valkyrie was going to be toast pretty quickly. And here is again, you place those archers or your uh, musketeer right against the wall of the arena there and it snipes out the expo and the Tesla didn't even touch it. So I got a ton of value out of those archers. My mortar here um, was able to take out a bunch of that musketeer and even tried to help with the Tesla tower, but the Tesla was already down there. Uh, we do get one shot on the Tesla. Anything to try and take down those defenses quicker is great. You don't want to let your opponent build up Expos and Tesla towers because that's when you can really get into trouble. Here, I misplayed the Valkyrie. It should have been one tile up. So actually, the Expo did get on my tower. So... I just, I it didn't panic, which before I would have panicked. Um, and this time I just placed the uh, mortar down to get something on the map that can help to, uh, with the splash damage and just take care of it. Drop my troops and don't panic. Um, so here I decided to push another lane just to see if I could get them to drop their Tesla over there so that I didn't have to deal with it on the expo side. Uh, leaked a little bit of elixir here and I wasn't sure where to place my mortar. He wasn't really defend or committing a lot to the board. So I just wanted to get that mortar uh, on. I'm not worried about splash damage of it, of it splashing the tower. Uh, here I got a great fireball, took out that um, musketeer as well as getting a bunch of damage onto that expo. Here the Tesla was almost done, so I wasn't too afraid of putting the Valkyrie in the same lane and um, uh, just going in for this big push trying to get some damage and break through um hog rider does get onto the tower and gets two swings which is massive if you can get two swings out of your hog rider so here i do get the uh, uh the mortar down and perfectly he played the goblins and the musketeer and so my valkyrie just got killer killer damage uh it's working on the tesla right now but the expo again gets onto the tower and um I was able to get some little troops as well to the tower. Minion got about three hits on the tower, which is massive. So it's down to 286 now. I know all that I need left is a fireball and a zap. So I'm just going to, again, keep it keep it back. I missed the musketeer, but it's not a big deal. Because, again, just need to cycle a card to get to my zap. And that's, uh, that's the W. So it felt good. <laughs> uh, Expo... Typically, when I had played this deck, I was having a lot of trouble against Expo, um, especially the 2.9 Cycle Expo deck. So I was really, really happy to, to take that one down. Now, this next matchup, definitely a toughie for me. Um, my deck actually is not great at facing P.E.K.K.A., um, especially a max P.E.K.K.A. Lane time of you guys. School started already. <laughs> Feel your pain. Okay, hi guys. Who's in the chat? Say hi to me. You can see, uh, you can see definitely the the live chat from the clan as well. People are saying hi. <laughs> Mohamed is in the house. Diego, but still hi. Um, Al Mohtarif, welcome to the stream. Zene, Emirate, Mustafa, Teb, Zach in the house. I have. Uh, Chaben or Haven, I don't know how to say your name. Hi, Sudi, Pinaki, um, 
Pinaki Saha. What's up? <laughs> What's up? How is your day? Game at 200. So... No, I'm not killing it. I'm just having fun. Ali! Hello! Gamer200, welcome to the stream. Plummet Ivano in the house. Ami! Hello! Soyun Kim in the house. Hi! CR7, welcome. Welcome! Um, Eric, Evolution Kim. Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you use Korean? Okay, I don't speak Korean. <laughs> Um, hi Lila in the house, Dar Taylor in the house, Mixonelli in the house. I'm new, thank you, Jose. Welcome to the stream. Game at 200. Maddie, Sir Chicken is back. Uh, Kobe and Phoenix, I hope you are in the um, gameplay because if you are not, then the winner is going to be to the guy who you are facing. Mix, mix, and Dart, Maddie. Devil, okay, you here. Good. So today I'm gonna play Lada. Um, we're gonna play between 4,600 and 4,800, I guess, because it's the early season pushing. And we have a clan board championship today between my clan members. It is eight of them, and the reward is fifteen dollars. So. Clan board champion participants today are Anonymous, KD, Kobe, Phoenix, Mohammed, Rizal, Gumi Blumen, and Dorky Porky. They are playing uh, today double elimination bracket, best of one, until the finals. Finals are best of three. What's my name? My name is Mix Null. Hello. Um, so, let's uh, first start with the with the guys to say them who is playing who. I'm gonna shuffle the seats once, twice, and um, go to the bracket. Oh, si mi clase llama Legion Pancake, yo no sé por qué tengo el mouse por allá. Yo estoy aquí, yo qué onda, qué me pasa. Mm. Uf, no sé, no sé. Me da la impresión de que puedo perder. ¡Ay, qué bruta! A ver. Dale, dale, que tengo para bajártelo. Muy bien, muy bien ahí, muy bien ahí, ¿eh? Muy bien, muy bien. Ahí ando yo. Control total de la partida por ahora, ¿eh? Por ahora no me, sa no me saca ven ventaja de elixir, así que va va vamos bien, vamos bien. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Andamos, andamos galopando, galopando andamos, carajo. Como odio yo a, al, al, al verdugo, lo odio con todo mi ser. Pero creo que va a poder eliminarlo. A ver, no. No va a poder. ¿Qué hacemos? A ver. No, no, no. Aquí. Ajá. Bien. Vamos bien, vamos bien, vamos bien, vamos bien, vamos bien. ¿Dónde están mis Batman? Chale. Me confié. La bruja nocturna no hace nada. Me confié demasiado, Dios. Me confié muchísimo. Qué estúpida, weón. Voy tranquila, venga. Golem. Palante como el elefante, carajo. Chuso, pero...
Me saco ventas en Elixir, no. Me saco muchísima ventaja, mierda. Me, me tiene estresada lo de cero viewers. ¿Por qué no cambias tu, tu clan en vez de solicitud? Ponlo a abrir la entrada. No, lo que pasa es que el clan es exclusivo para la gente que...유튜브 펀티베이 정원입니다 아, 지금 제 모습이 왜 이러냐고요? 분킬입니다. 아, 분킬이 아시겠죠? 보시면 아시겠죠? 아, 그렇다고 형님들 너무 저 보시고 설레고 그러시면 안 됩니다. 형님들 아시겠죠? 설레고 그러시면 안 돼요. 저저 엄연히 굉장한 그.